Give me this first segment. And I'll All right. Roll with it. All right. We're rolling. We're rolling. We're rolling. It is uh, Monday Night Raw review. What's today's date? March 6th. It's all March that matters. Is my camera? See through. Should I move a little Tech, bit down? You're phasing in and out of reality. Uh, am I? Am Tech, I? the floor is not your chair. The floor is not my chair. All right, everybody. We're here with the uh, the March 6th review of professional wrestling, of course, world wrestling entertainment. Um, I don't have the the notes, but I put them on the screen for you guys. The voices inside Randy Orton's head. Uh, we're joined once again by the Shane McMahon to my Vince McMahon. Thank God for coming back all these years. Isn't that right, Gil Goldberg? Yeah. Zach's here. Uh, Lenny's here. Mullins is here. Marsden's here. Uh, we got Favor Y'all and we got that? Brian Maloney. So, everybody, let's jump into this event like it's a pepperoni slice. Okay, what'd you guys think about it? Let's start there. You know, we had a, um, we had I, one heck of a lineup of a of a night. Um, well, yeah, let's, you know, let's, let's start at the beginning. We started, off, back. We, we, we started off, they just cut straight into uh, <laughs> straight Edge was actually it. talking. Edge, Edge. He, he came out, He last week he had defended his world title <laughs> on the line against John Cena. So that was Cena's rematch for the title. Yeah. And then... Wait a minute. Basically, what happened here is uh, they they played a bunch of video packages, just Goldberg? basically highlighting all that stuff. Thanks, and then Edge Goldberg. Grabbing the title out of the referee's hands, hitting Cena with it. Uh, then Vicky Guerrero had come out and announced that Edge will defend his World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania against The Big Show. I miss Vicky Guerrero. Hey, she was, she was I really good. did miss she Vicky Guerrero. Good. I really did. Uh, I'm so glad she came back tonight. Yeah, she was And then they good. showed that Goldberg was there, and he was doing a weird segment with Goldust, where Goldust put his blonde wig on top of his head, and Goldberg just like, yeah, that's not my style, and threw it on the ground and walked away. It's true. That really happened. Segment of, segment of the night has to be the fact that Blue Meanie and Vicky Guerrero had a sex celebration in the ring exactly Dude. look you, you could talk about like lita and edge but there's just something that makes it over the top when you have the blue meanie all right dude and jeff hardy came back tonight. jeff hardy came back yep that's a big thing yeah um, just, jeff, just jeff just jeff no man asked him when his match to qualify for money in the bank was yeah and then they informed him that money in the bank is a pay-per-view now so yeah so he's, he's kind of sad yeah, he thought it was yeah, a mania. Really he thought it was a mania, but now it's actually going to be its own pay per view. So we're hoping, yeah, hoping MVP it'll be. Came you know, in. Oh, yeah. Then MVP yeah, came in. MVP, that yeah, party. yeah, MVP came back. But like, feeling proud of him. Are, are we not going to mention the fact that Maurice made her in their return tonight? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She was. She was one hell of a. Diva, is that what we're gonna call them? Yeah, divas. Well, re- no, res- w- women's wrestling. Women's wrestling. Sex yes, male. yeah. She is the second greatest wrestler of this era. Of course, um, we all know who number one goes out to. Also, she yeah, she's Beth, yeah. Oh, yeah. She, she's only Beth Phoenix can defeat her. Oh yeah, that's true. Um, there was a weird, there was a weird, uh, like nip slip that happened with Maurice, mm-hmm. but like the WWE. Seem to focus on yeah. it a lot. Yeah, they they, they tried to cover I, I, it up, but they just they tried to they got too much into it trying to cover it up. So of course it's it, live it television. It kind of seems as though they were trying to like rehash the Eve Eva Marie thing, where they bl- they blocked her with a towel. Except they didn't use a towel; they used the Miz. Someone say towel. Very I was just glad that we saw the in ring return of Imaga tonight. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad he, yeah. said, he said he wasn't even dead, but I really couldn't understand what he's saying. There was a lot of grunting in that promo. I missed him. Whoa, oh, my God! Oh, my well, God. I, I speak grunt because of Delirious, so what I heard was that Papa Shango brought him back to life. It's true. And Ooh. he wait, came back. I saw Papa Shango. Still buried in. Wait, wait, wait. Speaking of Papa Shango, you know what time it is. Little... Like little it's Shango once thing. again, time for everybody to come ring, aboard ring, the ring, ring. Holy train. We just got a letter. Wonder That's who it's from. We need, it. we need a new song. We need a new song. We need a new song. Sweet child of mine. All right. Well, another letter from Microsoft. Can't <laughs> wait. No, not a science guy. He's fake. 
Today's the letter. <laughs> Ooh, edgy <laughs> joke. I know, right? <laughs> Who would have expected? Today's letter. Just like Pluto. Today's <laughs> I get triggered about that. Oh, shoot, all the letters falling out. All right, today's letter, speaking of Pluto, comes from Perry Saturn. It's a serious letter. It's a serious letter. I'm dying. It's a serious letter. Calm down. I have the letter, not you. All right. Hey, I can guess. I can dream, Harold. Dear VTech, sorry I couldn't make it to the event tonight, but if I was there, I would have done the good thing that a veteran does, unlike Goldberg. But you, and I would have put over that great young talent, Umaga. Or whoever you say his name. Wasn't he part of that five, three second countdown or something? I like the Billy and Chuck angle. Anyways, oh. see you soon. Love Perry Saturn. Thanks, Perry Saturn. That means a lot as uh, hopefully Moppy's hey, doing well. Tech, did you not hear? I think I also got a letter. You, we what? Talk. How did the voice inside of Raymond's head yeah, get a letter? I wonder who it's from. Yeah! I changed the words. It's fair. It's, it says, you were not accepted to Yale. Oh. <laughs> you just I got actually got a letter, too. You What'd your letter got say? Rejected. You just My got letter rejected. says, it's me, Austin. It was Who's me it from? Along. Who's it from? I was the one who... It was, it's from our good buddy, Rikishi. He said, <laughs> I am the one who booked Goldberg to win last night. I did it for The Rock. I did it for the people. Yeah, Are fact, you telling me Goldberg and Rock and Mania? Dude, yes. Who's going on to face Brock Lesnar then? How hold on, hold on. I think I have a letter too. Brock Lesnar is going to face Conor McGregor because what's going to happen is McGregor's going to come in because... That's what needs to happen. That is what needs to Hold happen. Come on, guys. I got, I got some mail, too. Fight. But you know what else That's is going to happen? WWE being stealing ideas from They're going to repackage a tag team. A tag team is going to completely disband. That tag team is the Ascension. Because there's one guy who's being held down by his tag partner, and that man is Rick Victor. Good hey guys. I've got some mail, too. What's your mail say? A Did you get AOL mail? My ma huh? Was it from AOL? No, uh, my mail is from the one and only Vincent K. McMahon. He says, It was me, VTech. It was me all along. All right, everyone. Now it goes into I got, the... I got, I got, I got mail, too. You got so mail, too? He said, Stop stealing my ideas. Oh, dang it. All right. Now comes the favorite portion of every wrestling event. We get to give it some numbers, all right? Marston, what would you give uh, Raw tonight? And what was main? Uh, what was the you know match of the night in your well, opinion? Well, I'm a Triple H mark, yeah. and I'm kind of mad that they brought that match with Umanga to new co uh, to no contest. Triple H need to take his shovel to that motherfucker. So I give it a two out of ten. Malin, what are you thinking? Nothing. It's okay. Favorite. I'm gonna give Raw. Ooh. What? What do you give it? Excuse me, man. Zero. Excuse me, man, holding the bat. <laughs> Wait, I'm channeling my inner Mick Foley, all right? <laughs> <laughs> or I'm gonna give my it Dean Ambrose well, from WrestleMania. Years. So, yeah, that was, a, that was a failure last year, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so I give this raw... A 0 out of 10, because I didn't watch it. <laughs> my son, my demon seed. I give it a 10 my... and a half out of 3. I give it 10 and a half out of 3, because it's in Connecticut. Hey, what are those seeds called that people eat? I don't eat them, so I wouldn't know. Sunflower <laughs> seeds? Yeah. Seeds? Yeah, you're my you're sunflower gross. seed. Uh, that just made it sound very, very... I well, if, if, if anyone could see the picture, like, for what's your Skype... That just makes it like ten times better. It's the grandmother <laughs> from Chowder. All right, Mullins. Uh, <laughs> uh, she's not a grandmother. 
Is she not a grandmother? Is I, she like a no, fairy? She's just, no, she's the she's the head cook's wife. Is she a fairy? Technically? Yeah, it's tr- it's truffles. She's a truffle. pixie. Do the truffle shuffle. Pixie. <laughs> I think you could. Can I number this now? I throw a number out there. I'm gonna have to give it um six stars. Six. Oh, you. <laughs> wait a minute, guys. Do you know what that is? Dave Meltzer. Mullins has just entered in the Mullins rating system. Thank you, Mullins, for giving us your unbiased wrestling opinion. A lot less Japan. Yeah, he's (laughs) unbiased wrestling uh, editor, observer, whatever you want to call him. He's an observer. He's a he's an observer. He observes observes wrestling at least seven days a week. At least a week. Uh, that's seven that's times at least. least. Yeah, seven days a week. Times usually you know four weeks. Times indefinitely the twelve months. Times how long he's been alive will keep you wondering. By the way, that's a lot. He is our wrestling observer. Uh, so what I would give tonight's event, uh, I wouldn't go that far to give it a solid six stars. But if I had to give it a star, I'd probably give it at least a good uh, 4.75. Of course, it's it goes four stars and then the .75 where it's like shaded in with the Crayola marker. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, anyways, keep it lit or whatever the kids are saying nowadays. And we'll see you uh, tomorrow night. We're SmackDown. Hopefully, we'll be working. Um, and for shameless plugs, we'll probably see you on Impact because that's always working because not many people watch it. <laughs> and if there's an event this week that has to do with anything Ring of Honor or New Japan related, because we're marks, but it has to be an event because we don't watch the week crap. Um, yeah, I don't watch the weekly we'll, stuff. Then we'll keep you informed. There's no wrestling uh, event for the big WWE uh, Sundays, and TNA doesn't have events anymore. So. So that's about and it. You can, and if you have an issue with this, you can you can call the WWE and tell them now. to screw that themselves. Just... <sighs> All right, people. That was fun.